Sponsored by Dodge. Visit Dodge.com or your local dealer today. We were talking on the now at four o'clock, just the piece, the presence of mind to pull that dog after you saved the woman's life. I, just... I, I've never seen a rescue like that. And we always see these rescues, but that, I mean, with the, like you said, the woman and the dog. Yeah, un unreal. unreal. And turning now from it's, floods. It's so... very difficult to do that, yes. Yeah, and of course, we're not seeing the floods, but the fire danger just prevalent here. Fire danger, and I'm going to talk more about that because that danger is actually going to be increasing over the next two days, and that's something we're going to have to watch very closely. Always a good <laughs> few tips is uh, to make sure that we don't create any fires and we are extra cautious and then we're also taking care of that at home by hiding matches, especially away from kids and of course just being smart if you're going to be out and about 81 degrees right now, San Diego humidity at 62%. The winds are light, but they're picking up and it all depends on where you are. I'll show you what is going to be happening here as we kind of get a glimpse at the outlook for the next few days. It will get slightly cooler inland but it's still going to be hot. Fire danger will continue through Wednesday, so that's going to be for tonight, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Increasingly humid on Thursday, which will make it feel even hotter as the temperatures go down. Not really much of a trade-off. One counteracts the other. Possible thunderstorms into the mountains, and that is going to start on Thursday, and it will continue through the weekend. So we're going to see a lot of changes in just a few days. The winds averaging now at 21 miles an hour in El Cajon, where the temperatures are in the triple digits. So you can put kind of things in perspective here. We have all these little components coming into place that could create a, a specifically that danger for fires. If we look at relative humidity, what does that mean to you? If we look at the atmosphere, let's talk about a cylinder, how much water is in the atmosphere. That is basically how we measure relative humidity. 18% Ramona, not a lot of moisture. 16% in Warner Springs and over towards the deserts where we actually do find that red flag warning in the single digits. We have a heat advisory, fire danger, so we have a lot going on here all throughout the county. No rain and store is just going to be dry and then becoming increasingly humid as we go into the next couple of days. That'll start on Thursday. So let's take a look at the seven day forecast here. Starting at the coast, temperatures will average in the low 80s on Tuesday. It'll be hot again Wednesday and Thursday. And then on Friday, temperatures will start to go down. But remember, it'll be Thursday into Friday when the humidity will start to go back up. So we lose a couple of degrees, but we gain the humidity and it's still going to feel uncomfortable. Inland areas around 96 degrees, the heat in comparison to to what it was a month ago, 96, no humidity, so not too bad. A few degrees cooler than today. We had triple digits in many locations. We even broke records. We'll take a look at those numbers again in just a little bit. 91 by Wednesday, so it does get better, but in the mountains, the winds tomorrow. Today, 20 to 30 on Tuesday night into Wednesday, they could go as high as 30 to 40 miles an hour. That's uh, substantial. Yeah, so, California seeing enough wildfires. We don't need any more. That's absolutely. For sure. Thanks, Thanks Angelica. Angelica.